What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new ranking video. Been a minute since we've done these videos. I honestly missed it, man. It's been a little bit. It's definitely been a little bit since we had one, and I'm great to be back, man. This is something that I completely forgot that we hadn't done in a while, man, and that is ranking the AEW Unmatched line. We have never ranked the Unmatched series, and you guys know that we are, what, five series in, right? We're five series in, and last time we ranked AEW figures, it was the AEW Unrivaled series, and it was every single single figure up to that point which was one through five and now we're up to unrivaled 11 which would mean it's time for a new unrivaled ranking but i figured we couldn't really go on to six through ten of unrivaled without doing the unmatched series because they are completely now they're completely now they're completed now from one through five so now we can dive into the unmatched figures and then we'll move on to the unrivaled and then we're going to dive back into the wwe elites we're probably going to have to update some lists there's been a lot more figures that have came out we can do an updated ultimate edition we can do an updated chase edition plenty of issues that we could get into, of course, but before we dive into today's video, I do want to make it known that I will be at the Royal Rumble this Saturday. Decided to fly out to San Antonio, so if you guys are going to be there, if you're going to be around the Superstore or the area, you're going to WrestleCon, you're doing the thing, you're going to be at the show itself, man, please do not hesitate to come up and talk, chat, and whatever the hell you guys want to do, man. Would be greatly appreciated, but today we're going to be ranking AEW on Match Series 1 through 5, and it should be really fun, so let's shut the hell up and dive into the criteria for our said ranking, and we're going to break it down over here on the left as you guys can see, we have the go buy it section. If you guys uh, have been around this series before, you guys know that if it's in the go buy it section, it pretty much means that MDT has given you the green light to go buy the figure. It means you should have the figure in your collection. Go buy it right now and put it in your collection. Next here we have is good figure. If I put it in the good figure spot, that means that it's a solid figure. You know, if you want to add it to your collection, I would completely understand it. It is a good figure. It's a good, solid figure. Next up, we have the mess sections, which means that, you know, the figure's kind of mid, right? It's a mid figure. It's not the greatest figure ever. It is mid. Next up on the on the chat, we have barely acceptable, which means usually if I put a figure there, it means you have one redeeming quality about your figure. You know, whether it's a head skull, maybe you feel good in the hand, but nothing else is good. You know, different things like that. Barely acceptable is one thing keeping you from the bottom, which is going to be the garbage, and that is somewhere you do not want to be, Brad. Absolute garbage. It means the figure is worthless, and if you have it in your collection, you should probably set your head on fire. Not legitimately, but yeah, don't be in the garbage, man. You don't want to be in the garbage. But I'm intrigued to see how many of these figures end up in these certain sections. It should be fun. I included the chases from a Series 1 through 5 of Unmatched. Let's shut the hell up and dive into it, man. This is every AEW Unmatched Series 1 through 5, ranked from worst to best. Or, you know, ranked. We're ranking them right now. Let's get it. Starting out first, we have AEW Unmatched Series 2 or T's. I am really debating on this going in one of two sections. I don't think it really, you know, it's either a go buy it or it's a good figure. I'm I'm going to put it in the good figure for now. Could easily move up. It's a figure that feels good in hands. It has great quality head sculpts. I'm honestly feeling kind of bad right now not putting it in go buy it. It may be in the go buy it section before the video is over, but for now I'm going to stick him in the good figure section. Next up, we have Santana from the same set. I cannot in all good conscience put Ortiz in good figure and not put Santana there. The Ortiz is slightly better than the Santana, so it would not be right for me to not put him there. You know, they, they belong together. You know, Mariah carry. Next up is going to be Sting, and this is a go buy it. This is a great figure. I actually like this figure a lot. It's one of my favorite Sting figures I think ever made. It really captures his likeness for this late of his career and his run. I think it's a great head sculpt. It's very solid. I don't like the trench coat, but at the same time, it's a very good figure. I like it. I like the Sting figure. Next up is Tay Conti. I'm going to put this one in meh. I don't hate it. I don't love it. You know, the head sculpts are a bit missed for me. I think that she could definitely improve. I think that her feet were too small, kind of just disturbing it there. Knees were not the best because of the knee pads. It kind of hindered the articulation a little bit. I did like some attention to detail with the figure, but at the same time, I do not like the head sculpts. The head sculpts kind of ruined it for me. If they were better, they probably would have been in good figure, but I'm going to put her in meh for now. Next up is Wardlow. This is a go buy for me. I'm personally a great uh, big Wardlow fan. I like Wardlow a lot. Figure feels really good in hand. It's a very solid figure. I like the interchangeable head sculpts. Great figure. Go buy. Next up is the Chase Sting. And this is the first figure that I ever found at retail as a Chase. First Chase I ever found at retail. I'm going to put this guy in Barely Acceptable simply 
simply because the figure's so good, but it's a ch it is a trash chase figure, man. Just simply lifeless chase figure. Uh, it's it, I, it's sentimental to me in a way, but no, bro. Like I love Sting. He's classic and nostalgic for me, and I love this figure. But I'm gonna put him barely acceptable because it is a chase figure, and I have to hold them to a higher standard. Speaking of chase figures, we have the MJF Unmatched Series Two figure in the chase version. This is the chase version that does have the headband. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm uh, son of a bish. I am not the biggest fan of this figure. I'm gonna put it in matte. I think it's slightly better than Tay Conti. Like, it feels good in the hand. I like the accessories. Solid gear, but it's it, the head sculpt's pretty trash. Next up is Brody Lee from Unmatched Series 3. This is a go-buy-it. I'd probably rank it above that. I actually like the Wardlow better than the Sting slightly. A lot of people shit on that Wardlow for some reason, bro. What are y'all on, man? That's a good fit. Unrivaled 10 Wardlow. It's a repaint, but it's damn good, too. It's in the all-white gear. We haven't got there yet. It's obviously not in this video, but I'd like to think about it and say it. Next up, Anna J from Unmatched Series 3. I like this figure better than the Tay Conti solid head sculpt. I don't think it's as good as Ortiz and Santana. I feel confident putting it in the third spot and good figure right there. Anna J. Solid little football figure. Next up is Evil Uno. Solid figure, man. I like it. I think it's a go buy it. I think I've rated it the second best figure in Unmatched Series 3. I think it's a good figure. I'm going to put it and go buy it. I think you should own it. I think it's a good head sculpt. All the, you know, the, all the things. Yeah, it's solid. Next up is AEW Unmatched Series 1 Kenneth Omega Thee. And this is absolutely 1000% go buy it. If you don't buy anything else in this list so far, it's so far, that figure right there is just groundbreaking for the AEW figure line. Just a historical piece that we will look back on and say, damn, that's a good figure. There's a reason I own 10 of them, men on card. I have 10 men on card versions. That's all you need to know. Next up, John Silver from Unmatched Series 3. I'm going to put this one in meh. I like the formula. I didn't like the head sculpts that much. They looked a bit cartoony to me. Uh, the figure was really stiff when I owned it. I, th I think outside of that, it's kind of meh. Not my favorite, man. I think that he's has he has much better figures to come for him, so I'm going to put him in meh. Stu Grayson, another meh figure, man. It's just, it's very meh. Very stiff for whatever reason. I like the bicep band. I think the head sculpts on this guy are actually pretty good, but yeah, I just, his figure, both of these figures were so stiff that, like, I, I, I bent the arm, like, once, and it wanted to fall apart, and I can't handle that. That makes me want to just vomit in my yard and eat it. Next up is the Chase Anna J. This is better than the regular Anna J, so I gotta slightly put it above the regular Anna J. Put that in good figure. I, I could sleep at night with that thought. I'm gonna put her there. Next up is the Chase Brody Lee. I think that this is a solid Chase. I think it's different enough from the regular version. Uh, you know, I, I think it's good figure. I wanna say go buy it, but is it worth all of that? I mean, it is a damn good gear. I like the gear. It's better than the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, by God. Uh, I'm gonna put it at the top of good figure. I think that the regular version is suitable enough. I think it's fine. The good figure, I'm gonna go good figure for the chase right there. I can sleep at night with that one right there. Next up is the Unmatched Series 4 Cody. Unbelievable figure. One of my favorite figures of last year. Not only in just the AEW figure space, man, one of my favorite figures of all of 2023, in, or 2022, I should say, in general. Fantastic piece. Great figure. Came in at the number one spot for me, actually. And that takes us into Jay Cargill, which I actually like a lot, too. I'm gonna put that in the go buy it. I think it's, uh, I, I like it a lot, actually. I think it represents her perfectly. Not a perfect head sculpt, but still really damn good. I'm going to put her there in that spot. I like the Jade Cargill figure. Moving right along, we have the Unmatched Series 4 Punk. I think this is a go buy it. You know, I, uh, I like it slightly better than the Jade. I like it slightly better than Evil Uno. We're going to put this in worst to best at the end, I think. I'm going to put it in the go buy it section for now, but we'll probably change that up there. But CM Punk's a a AEW figure is pretty solid in the Unmatched 4. I don't like that there's no knee pads. I think that kind of hinders it, but I like the figure. It articulates well. Kind of a weird leg thing going on, but I'm going to put it in go buy it for now. MJF Unmatched Series 4. I think this figure gets a good a bad rap. I'm going to put it in good figure. Head sculpts up abysmal. We all know it. I hate the head sculpt personally. think it's garbage, but I love the gear. From the neck down, perfect figure. Neck up, horrendous. Throw in the garbage. Still damn good figure, though. You know what I'm saying? I think, I th you know what I'm saying? It's got a lot of things keeping it out of the garbage. Next up is the Adam Hangman Page in the Cowboy Get Up. Damn, I love this figure. Is it go buy it worthy, Brad? Is it go buy it worthy? I really like a guy in a street promo gear. You guys know how I feel. I'm putting him in go buy it. I hate to say it, but I am, all right? 
dead gum. Next up is Corazon de Leon. This figure is garbage. I'm putting it in the garbage. We have our first garbage figure. Uh, start off with the head sculpt. Looks nothing like uh, a young Chris Jericho. He looks almost like just a guy trying to be a, a Corazon de Leon guy. It doesn't look like Chris Jericho in my personal opinion. Comes with a rubber jacket that's stiff as hell and very plain Jane. Kind of boring. Uh, the gear is just bleh. You know, the tights are cool, but the freaking tassels being sculpted on the leg and painted so when you turn the leg you can't even line it up a very weird choice just not good man gotta go in the garbage for me next up is miro and holy jesus above in christ i gotta put this in barely acceptable it almost would be in the garbage but it feels so good in the hand and i like the gear it's gonna be barely acceptable terrible head sculpt we all know it's not good okay we we see it we know all right we got it has to be barely acceptable can't do anything about it next up is gonna be cm punk chase figure i'm gonna put this one in meh you know it's the walmart exclusive with cool packaging or with a sticker i guess i should say it's the walmart exclusive so i'm just gonna put that in meh i think that uh yeah i'm just gonna put it in meh it's a great figure it really is but being a chase figure it's just like meh because it's the exact same figure you know what i mean so i'm just gonna put him there next up is the gray suit cody i like I, it's similar to Brody Lee, right? Like, the regular edition is is very damn good, but it being a slight repaint of that figure, I just can't in all consciousness put that in the go-by section when it's just like, it is that figure, you know what I mean? Like, aesthetically, they're both fantastic, but I'm not going to sit here and say, go buy the Chase as well as the regular edition unless it's it, it needs to have that. I'm going to put the, uh, yeah, I'm going to put Cody there. Again, love the figure. I actually, ha I own both of those Chases. I think they look aesthetically amazing, and I, like, obviously, they're just a repaint of their great go buy it versions but i'm not gonna sit here and put them in the go buy it when you can go buy the regular version and just have that much of a you know it, it, you get what i'm saying hopefully next up is brian danielson unmatched series 5 very damn good uh i'm gonna put it in good figure i want to say go buy it man but he's like he's he's tall as hell bro he's big as hell he's gigantic his head is gigantic he's a good figure but i don't think he's in the go buy it territory but now that i'm sitting here looking at it i honestly would rather have the brian danielson over the cm punk figure I can't in all good conscience do that. I'm putting him in go buy it. I think you know what I'm saying? I you know what? I'm putting him in there. I think you gotta have the Brian Danielson. You gotta have the Brian Danielson. Get me into Unmatched Series 5 Kenneth Omega. This is a go buy it. I mean, it is. It's so damn good. It is number two in my top 10 AEW action figures of 2022. Unbelievable figure. Unbelievable figure. Unbelievable figure. Just truly unbelievable. Love it. Can't say enough good things about it. Next up is Red Velvet. This is a meh figure for me. You know, not my favorite. I, I like the gear and then uh, outside of that it's not the, my favorite head sculpt. It's not a terrible head sculpt. I just think it's kind of, it's just kind of a meh release. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really move the needle that much for me. Therefore, I'm going to put it in the meh section. If you guys want to go buy that, you know, it wouldn't hurt my feelings, but I'm going to put it in the meh. Next up is Sammy Guevara. I'm going to put him in barely acceptable. I like the screaming expression. I think that it's a, one of those figures that is a point in time. I think that it has its place, but it's not anything outside of the realm. I think it's barely acceptable. I'm fine with that, you know. I could put it in meh, to be honest with you, but I'm going to put it in barely acceptable for now. Next up is Sean Spears. This is damn good. I almost want to put it in the go buy it section because I like it so much, but I'm going to put this in good figure. Uh, really good figure. Really strong figure, actually. I can't even remember where I ranked it. I want to say I put it in, like, number three, maybe, or number two, but I think he's damn good. He could, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted to put him in go buy it, I wouldn't even doubt you for it, so there's that. Next up is the LJN Darby Allen. I'm going to put this one in barely acceptable. Lots of things about this figure you know uh, with accuracies and different things like that the difference in the delays and the different stuff you know i don't hate it uh you might be able to see it on display back there it's like right above my head right here or something like that but i'm just gonna put them in barely acceptable for now i don't hate the figure a lot of people just despise that figure i don't despise it but it's just kind of you know mid i guess I, you know what i'm gonna put them in meh i think that's fair i'm gonna put them in meh i don't want to be ridiculous speaking of which we do have the chase brian danielson next and i think this is a good figure you know i, I love the chase i think it's the gear is slightly better than the you know the the unmatched five regular edition but it's not a bad figure whatsoever i really like the gear so i'm gonna put him there in good figure next up is the chase sean spears this is a go buy it man i mean my god i don't even own it but it looks beautiful that teal gear and the tin and the freaking yelling head sculpt i think doing a torso swap with his sleeved figure you know the regular edition would be chef's kiss i don't think i've seen anybody do it yet if i find that figure or i'm able to get that figure loose i'm absolutely gonna do a torso swap with the sleeve i think that'd be sweet sweet gear that is a chase
face figure done absolutely correct. Next up is the Unmatched Series 1 Darby. Go buy it. Absolute stud muffin. Just a fantastic figure. I know a lot of his figures are just repaints, but his figures feel so good in the hand. They are some of the best action figures in the wrestling figure genre that you will find. They're that damn good. Great details. Very fun. Rubber jackets garbage, but you know what? It's very good. It's better than that Sting, and I'll rank this at the end like I said. Next up is the LJN Cody. I like it. I'm going to put it in good figure. You know, nothing groundbreaking again. It's fun. It's, 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 uh, I don't even know what the hell I want to say. It's fun. It's a fun figure. It's a fine release. I like it. You know, I like the colors really stand out. I like the sculpts and the tattoo detail. I actually like that figure. I don't think it's for everybody, though. I'm going to put it in good figure. Next up is Dustin Rhodes. I actually think this is a good figure, too. I know it has, like, its stiffness, but aesthetically, it looks really pleasing. Uh, you know, it doesn't move around the best, I'm going to be honest with you, but the head sculpts are really nice. I think that it's, an again, aesthetically really, really good. I'm going to put it in good figure. I'm not going to, like, shish on it too, too much there. We have the Unmatched 1 Series Darby Allen. I'm going to put this in good figure. Very similar. It's the Chase Unmatched Series 1 Darby is what I meant to say. I think just like, you know, just like Brody Lee, just like Cody, I can't in good conscience put it in the go buy it when it's like, you know, they're, they have equal pretty much representation of that figure that's a way cheaper option is what i'm saying so i'm gonna put it in good figure i like it i have a lot of copies of that figure as well have it loose it's a fun figure as well obviously getting into Britt baker's unmatched figure very meh very mid just very mid very just so mid just when we first got it, it was an unbelievable figure. And then once you get the Supreme and the Unrivaled 10, there's so many better versions of Britt Baker. It's just so mad. When I look at that figure now, I'm like, holy shit, this is so mid. Next up is the Pittsburgh Steelers gear. I'm a Steelers fan, so I'm putting that in good figure. It's better than her regular version. It's not quite go buy it. Like, I don't want you to go spend 80, 90 bucks on it, but it's still a good figure. And then last but not least, we have the MJF Series 2. This is barely acceptable. It's almost, I'm, it's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's fair. It's it's fair to be in the garbage because it, it's a terrible head sculpt. The gear is very lifeless. It has a rubber coat. I rest my case. I rest my case. It's worse than the Unrivaled version. It's worse than the Unrivaled Chase. It's worse than the Unmatched Chase, which is in the meh. The meh Chase is better than the garbage regular release, and that's all we have to say. But that is pretty much it right here, man. I think this is pretty much perfect. Uh, go buy it right here. I'd say Unmatched 1 Kenny does clear above all. I really do love that figure. It gets really tricky when you talk about these two figures. I did say the Unmatched 4 Cody beat out the Unmatched 5 Kenny slightly. You know, uh, the Darby Allen Unmatched Series 1 is so blessed good that it almost feels criminal not to have him in the top 5. I gotta move him up. I'd put him right here. Right here is a money zone. I'm pretty confident with the rest of these. Uh, mm, I'd probably move the punk down. I'd probably put the punk at the bottom. Not my favorite figure of all time, but it's still, I'd say go buy it. You know, it's a, it's a moment in time. It's a history thing. Uh, you know, I think it's a solid figure. The rest of these, I feel pretty confident in this right here. Like, this is a pretty good ranking right here, I'd say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go buy it. Um, you know, the rest right here in good figure, I don't really like to rank them that much here in the midsection. The meh, I agree with these. I'm feeling pretty good about these. I think our two garbage ones, Corazon de Leon and the MJF, wear garbage. Barely acceptable. I think people would agree here. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I I'm pretty good on this go buy it right here if you could only buy one figure from this entire thing it's the unmatched series one kenny uh the cody rhodes figure from unmatched series four is freaking phenomenal this top five right here is absolute money love this top five just anything outside of that if you just wanted to pick five figures that top five right there is just chef's kiss love it think it's fantastic but that is going to wrap up our ranking of aew and match series one through five thank you guys so very much for watching if you guys want to see future iterations of this you know wwe elites ultimates all those different things we're going to get back into that i really enjoyed the ranking videos they're some of my favorite videos and they seem to do well in the history of the of the channel so we're probably going to bring those back i greatly appreciate it man but if you're going to the royal rumble or you're going to the superstore or you're around the san antonio area i think the superstore is free so you can just show up and go up in that hoe wrestlecon on saturday morning I think is also free to just go inside so that will be something that you may be interested in i think they're going to have figures and signings and sting's going to be there and all these different things but that is going to wrap up my aew match series one through five ranking guys thank you guys so very much for watching leave me your thoughts down below how would you rank this set which is the best figure overall in your personal opinion i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one Roll
never be.